let's look at the copy command. If we do a man cp, we'll see the manual page for copy to copy files. Here's the syntax and a description as along with some of the options. Minus V is important. It causes copy to be verbose. Let's go ahead and clear this. And let's copy. First, let's see what's in this folder. In this Unix 101 folder, we have nothing. Let's go ahead and look at the graphical folder for Unix 101, and we see there's nothing in here. Let's go ahead and create a folder using make dar. Let's call it movies. And let's click on here to update it. And we see the movies folder appear. Let's double click movies. And let's copy these three files. Make dr movie, curl movie, and wget movie. And let's go ahead and paste them into here. Apple V. And so we have three movie files inside this movie folder that was just created. If we go back, we see three items in movies. Let's go back to our command line and do an ls. We see movies. If we change directory into the movie folder, type pwd to see where we are. We're now in Unix 101 movies. Let's clear the screen and do that again. We're inside of the movies folder that was just created inside the Unix 101 directory. Let's do an ls and we see the curl movie, make dr movie, and so on. Let's go back. to our Unix 101 folder. And let's create a few more folders. Make DR folder 1, make DR folder 2, and folder 3. And if we do an ls, we see there's four entries. Let's use the ls-f command to clearly list the folders with the slash at the end, folder 1, folder 2, folder 3, and movies. Let's go ahead and use the copy command. If we say cp movies and copy everything using the star wildcard. This means copy everything in the movie folder to folder 1. Now, if I did this, it would just, the prompt would disappear like this until it's done. Now let's do the same thing again. We're copying this time to folder 2. And we're still copying all everything in the movies folder, so let's leave the star here. This time, let's use the minus V option to see what's actually going on. So the prompt won't simply just disappear. The Unix prompt, let's or cursor. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And we saw it went by pretty quickly, but we saw movies, wget movie to folder 2, and this one here, and this one here. Let's go ahead and clear this. And now, if we look inside of folder 1, we see 
files were copied. Let's go to a graphical interface. Go back out of movies. Look at all our folders. Folder 1 contains the movies. Folder 2 contains the movies. And folder 3 should be empty. We didn't do anything. And movies still contain these movies. Let's go ahead and do the listing again. Let's copy the contents of folder 2. And this time let's specify what we get. folder 3. And there we have it. Now if we look inside of folder 3, we'll see it. So now you should be able to use the CP command. You should display, be able to display what's happening. And for more information, look at the manual page. As you can see, there's many options. Uh, to the CP command and uh, therefore there's many things you could do plus in combination with other commands. It's a very useful command you'll find yourself using more and more. That's it.